Welcome back everyone. I am Pusherman, part of Chimera Team Gaming, and we're here with another solid gem for the indie game spotlight. It is the Ambassador Fractured Timelines made by Tiny Dino Games and Quantum Astrophysicist Guild. It's a twin stick fantasy shooter that is all about utilizing your newly gained time bending skills to outwit enemies, take down bosses, clear paths, and push onward to figure out who has destroyed the Fellowship Council and the capital city just as you've gained your abilities. But before we get fully into it, hit that like button and subscribe for more Indie Game Spotlight reviews. So as said before, it's a twin stick shooter game. Now that genre is pretty saturated with some heavy hitters in it, such as Enter the Gungeon. And even though the ambassador doesn't really stack up to it, it does have its moments where it shines. At the start of the game, you play as Gregor, who is a newly appointed ambassador apprentice for the Fellowship Council. And as you gain your new powers from the weave, the capital city of Tamaris and the council is destroyed and it's up to you to figure out who done it. And I mean, that's it. That's basically the main objective of the game. You go out there and you and you visit three of the factions who all have quarrels with the Fellowship Council and you bust up in there and you take down who's in charge just to get answers and to figure out if they are the true culprit. Ultimately, the culprit shows himself wielding the powerful time sword and you go on one last mission to take him down in his time realm that he's created. And that's all I'm going to say about that to stay away from any big spoilers. The narrative is just enough to keep you engaged and gives you the reason right off the bat as to why you go on the adventure. As you visit the areas, clearing out all the enemies on that level, it opens up the portals for you to move on to the next stage. Moving on to the gameplay, the main mechanic that makes this game pretty interesting is the time bending ability that's in it. You slow down time around you to be able to stop and dodge projectiles because you can see the trajectory of them you can see some enemies attack and stop them. You can stop bridges from crumbling underneath you, break objects and more. As you progress on, the enemies possess new gimmicks that will require you to time bend to open them up for attacks and so that way you'll be able to hit and defeat them. There's also some unique neutral enemies like ants, golems, bulgers, and other monsters in the fray to defeat and conquer. But for the most part, it's just those three factions. Alongside using time bending, you wield two weapons, which are swords or mini Mjolnir, Mjolnir, Thor's mini hammer, Thor's hammer. Yeah, that. And you also use staves. <laughs> you also gain new armor that possesses a variety of different effects. You hurl your swords in a boomerang fashion and they have various effects when you unlock them upon completing levels. What made the game very fun for me was really the time ability. The overall difficulty of the game is not very hard and the real challenge is when you reach the boss stages. You're given three, four at max lives or hit points. So it takes some effort to dispose of the bosses because there are some puzzle mechanics to them. But for the most part, it's not that, it's not that hard of a game to get through. You just have to get your timing down right. The time bending is a really neat feature but I wish there was more done with it. You can only slow down time in a small area around you. And I really wish as you completed some of the areas, you were given the option to change how you manipulated time or some of the armor's effects allowed the circle to be larger or even be able to rewind time to reverse getting hit or potentially even even dying. That would be that would be something that that could have that could have really altered this game and made it and made the main draw of it become something a lot better. In the audio and visuals department, specifically the pixel art direction, I can enjoy it. I will say that some of the environments could have been a bit more diverse and the characters in the game, such as your mentor and other NPCs you encounter, could have looked better. The soundtrack in the central portal level and at the final level, I actually really enjoyed it. I found myself bopping my head a couple times to it. There are no voice lines, but in its place is, is a funny rendition of a Charlie Brown adult with the bleh, 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 bleh. Now, that, that added a little comical effect to the game, which I actually liked. Now, as much as I like the art direction, this is where my main gripe with the game lies. 
the graphics quality does not scale very well when going into full screen mode. In window mode, it's perfectly fine. But in full screen, the game loses some of its graphic quality. The text becomes hard to read and the pixel graphic for some enemies and environments becomes so distorted and muddied to the point where I couldn't even tell if it was a grass or an enemy. It could be because it was not designed to scale and lack of resources since it is an indie studio, but I can only play in full screen for so long until I had to switch back into window mode because it just hurt my eyes. With all that being said, I think the Ambassador Fracture Timelines can be worth your time if you're into pixel twin stick shooters. The narrative is there to give you something to follow. The gameplay isn't anything new to the twin stick genre, but the time bending ability makes this game pretty damn fun alongside the different combinations of swords you can sling and the stabs as gimmicks. Some of my favorite loadouts was using the crossbow with the cold heart sword that froze enemies in place and armor that gave me a bit more protection or using the javelin or the mini mirror I really hope I'm saying that right. The Thor's, Thor's hammer, god damn it, with the fire sword and the ice armor to continuously have solutions to take care of enemies up close, far away, and ones that hit me. I do think that the loot you receive for completing levels is given to you at a very good pace, so I feel like they did a very good job in that department. The gameplay is fun and can keep you engaged for the entirety of the game. Although the mileage is short and the replayability is minimal, there are some features there that can keep you coming back such as the time record scoreboard and a horde mode that you unlock after you've completed the game. There's two modes for you to choose to play from. There's an assisted mode that starts you off where you last died and does not reset the level. And of course there's a normal mode and it's the way the game should be played. Hey man, dev's words, not mine. The game's artistic direction and going with the pixel graphics and seeing a time-bending game like this is pretty new and nice for the genre and for the most part, I enjoy how the game looks. As long as you keep it in window mode. Full screen on the other hand, you're gonna have a bad time. After putting in close to 10 hours in the game, I can say that the Ambassador Fracture Timelines is worth a try, but you won't be missing out on anything if you decide not to. If you're looking for a new game to pass the time, pick this one up and then give it a go and you, you won't be disappointed. I played it on PC with a controller because playing with keyboard and mouse it makes the game too simple and it's just not created to play that way. But the game is also out for Nintendo Switch and Xbox. And with that, we have come to the end of the review. If you played the game, let me know what your favorite loadout is down in the comments below. And if you're planning to check it out, let me know what you like the most about it as well. I'm really interested to hear, to hear what y'all gotta say about the game. Also, once again, thank you so much to Tiny Dino Games and Quantum Astrophysicist Guild for the review code. I, I gotta say, man, I, I enjoyed myself with it. So that is it. Once again, I am Pusher Man, and this is Chimera Team Gaming, where the passion for gaming becomes a three-headed beast. We'll see you in the next video. Deuces.